Okay, let's give you guys another example of proof by contradiction. So we're going to try and prove this. If x, uh, if 3x plus 2 is even, then x has no choice but to be even. So currently this is what we've got. Th this thing, if this thing here is even, then x has no choice but to be even. So we're, we, we're going to try and prove this. Um, so, so, so with proof by contradiction, it would be for, it would be for us to create the opposite of this. Let's, let's say x is odd. So here's saying x is even. Let's create the opposite. Let's say x is odd. And the way, the trick we would use is to do this. If you want to write an even number, write it as this. If you want to write an odd number, write it as this. This is a trick that we would use to write an odd number. So if, if, if we, if we assume that, uh, that is an odd number, then if you put this into here, into, into here, then, uh, then you've got three, uh, you've got three bracket, this thing here, so that would be 2k plus 1, and then you've got your plus 2, plus 2. If you make this, if you assume it to be an odd number, then, then this, this thing here will be, will be this, hang on, uh, multiply this out, so that would be 6k, uh, plus, uh, plus 3, and then plus 2. If you might, if you assume it to be, uh, to be odd, then, then this thing here, Will be, hang on, will be, uh, 6k plus 5. Uh, I'm gonna visualize this as, uh, I'm gonna visualize, I'm gonna visualize this bit here as 2 times 3k here, uh, just, just this bit here, uh, and then plus 5. You see, any number, any number times 2, it will be an even number. So this thing here, will definitely be an even number because anything times two it will be an even number. Uh if if you have an even number, add an odd number, then overall it will be an odd number. You see, if you make this if you make this assumption that it's an odd number, then, then this thing here will be an odd number. But then we demand it to be an even number. You see, what what is happening is that you can't assume this to be an odd number because if you assume this to be an odd number, then then this thing cannot be even so we can't make this assumption this assumption would be wrong so therefore this must be true okay i hope you can follow that